Hi, my name is Meg Goldsmith. I want to welcome you here to Back to School Night. This is my 30th year of teaching in Catholic education. It's a thrill to be here, and I'm just, I'm just happy that you're here tonight. I do want to thank you specifically, honestly, for sending your child to Xavier High School. I know it's a sacrifice. I know financially it's a stretch for some of us. But I don't take for granted that they're going to show up every year. And I feel like every year I've got to earn your trust and just keep doing the best that I can, not just to teach well, but to try to be a role model for your students. So I take that very seriously. And I thank you for, for sending your, your child here, for trusting us with your child. Now, if you ever need to get a hold of me throughout the school year, the best way is email. Um, email, then I can look over the situation. I can respond as quickly as I can. Promise you, you'll hear from me within 24 hours if you send me an email. Uh, I do have a phone number here with an extension. It's just the Xavier phone number with my extension, 366. But again, email is probably the way to go if you want to get a hold of me uh, efficiently. Okay, so let's talk about class here. Um, first of all, what does a Mr. Goldsmith class look like? I hope that it looks like something different every single day you walk in here. We know so much about how students learn. Um, brain-based learning that they're learning in multiple different ways. Some are very, very good learners when they're quiet and studious and reading books and watching movies. Others really have to get up and move around and talk and speak and debate and act even to go ahead and learn very well. You're going to see all of that in here and you're going to see not only your child's uh, strengths but also their weaknesses. So we'll get to develop all of those things as we go through class. Um, this particular class, this is social issues class, and what we do in here more often than not is we take a subject, we dive into it deeply, we come up with a lot of good research and information, and then somehow you've got to express your opinion. You have got to discuss, debate, make a slideshow presentation, record a video, do an interview, etc. Now, this is going to be challenging for some of your students because they're not talkative by nature. Trust me, some of your students are talkative by nature, but not all of them. I was not talkative by nature in high school, and teachers just made me get up in front of the room. I haven't shot up ever since. And so I think it's a skill that can be developed. I never want to embarrass a child, put them in front of the room and just hanging them out to dry. They'll always have their notes. They'll always have information, research. A lot of times they'll be with a group of two or three or four students presenting material. Okay, And I think gradually we can just get better and better at that skill. Now, this class in particular, we talk more than most because we are going to debate some of the social issues of the day. So. One thing I demand before we say anything, we need good research and we need a lot of research from different, different sources of information. We're going to go to great pains to say, where'd you get that info from? Is there any bias in that information? Is it good, reliable, solid information? And then do you have the other side of the story? Do you also have sources that tell me that you not only just saw this perspective, but you saw that perspective as well? You don't have to agree with that perspective, but I think we have to see both sides of the story, okay? All right, what are the topics that we talk about in here? Um, the topics, the first topic is race, and then we go over healthcare and aging. And by the way, if any of you are involved in the healthcare field, have I got a guest speaking opportunity for you, okay, during that particular unit? Um, we move into other topics such as social media, um, not just, uh, not just the, the dangers of social media, but the incredible positives of social media as well. Believe it or not, your students are really like that unit. Then we look at um, poverty and we take uh, Cedar Rapids focus more so than an international focus. We get in touch with local downtown nonprofits and have them come in here hopefully so your students can kind of envision, uh, maybe I got a part to play here in making Cedar Rapids, Cedar Rapids a better place. We also take a look at safety and security, uh, mainly in terms of credit card and banking information. How do we keep that safe? I don't know, maybe one or two of you have actually had your credit card compromised. I think that's almost commonplace now for any adult. We'll take those issues, we'll throw out a question or two, we'll spend probably two weeks on each question, on each topic. Again, we really take deep dives. I will listen to anything you have to say if you're worth listening to, which basically means you've done your homework, you've done your research, and then kids are more confident to express their opinion, to let it out, and to know what's, listen what's worth listening to and what's not worth listening to, okay? So that's basically the, the crux of the course. Again, can't wait to hear everything that your students have to say. Can't wait to hear the opposing viewpoints on different issues. Um, again, if I can bring even this much civil discourse to America, I will sleep well at night. So thank you so much for being here. And don't be afraid to ask your, your student at night, hey, what's going on in social issues?